You know, ever since I cracked my my molar teeth, this one right here, about two years ago, I've been having to pick my teeth every meal, pretty much. Anything that really gets stuck in there. Vegetables, pork, chicken, whatever. I was dumb enough, though, two years ago, and even before that, well, maybe when my teeth were stronger and can handle it, I would eat the popcorn seeds that were only partially popped, that were blackened. And it's stupid enough to eat them because they're black and, and they have uh, more toxins in them. But just simply they're, they're too hard for the teeth and I'd sit there and crunch away at them foolishly. And I was making my own popcorn and stuff. And you could just hear it sound like teeth breaking every time you, you bit into them. And eventually my molar did break and started, I started having some terrible issues with food getting stuck in there. It was really, you don't know what what crazy is until you, you get food stuck in your teeth. It just drives you crazy. Like, I just, I just get nervous and, and uh, just, 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 uh, really, it's, it's really disruptive to, to just, uh, being calm and stuff, so I tried to fight it uh, as best I could by using first floss, and then I used wooden, uh, toothpicks, there were those disposable ones, but those just, they broke too often, I need something hard, um, uh, but before this, I tried the water pick, um, that was like $60 I blew at Walmart, and that did give me some relief for a little bit. It's it really was nice, but man, that is a mess. Just, it's only water, but that water splashes all over, and it gets really annoying. I, I don't know if I recommend getting the water pick and messing around with that. It's just too much of a mess. I still have it in my car. I'm like, I, I see that it probably has value, but I just haven't gotten around to trying to sell it. I haven't used it in, in like two years. I only used it for like a month, and then I got tired of it. I just switched over to bringing the sewing needles wherever I go. I usually keep it in my magnet um, things, my my pockets, and then whenever I need it, it's it's there. I mean, it's a dual purpose. See, I, I can rationalize. Uh, bringing it because I can also use it for sewing too and then itching I also use it for uh, cleaning under my nails so I really have to be careful about cleanliness um, it's not plastic though so I trust it a little bit more it's metal and metal tends to not hold on to the the bacteria and germs as much as as plastic or wood would be pretty good but uh, this is easy to carry because it's magnetic and I can carry it around in my my pocket. Maybe I can, let me just, oh, <laughs> I already got one on this one. I just keep this, this magnet thing in my, in my pocket all the time for therapy. And then I just keep the little needle attached. So it's, it's real convenient to hold on to. I also have them up on my car dashboard too. But it just drives me crazy every meal. I just had some radishes and the, the the leaves get stuck in between my molars, so I had to pick it out. And it can be some work sometimes. Sometimes it gets it really gets in there. Like when I eat blackberries, I guess the seeds get the whole seed gets stuck in between my teeth. I mean if I didn't have that crack that wouldn't happen. And it's not painful, it just drives me crazy. I don't want to go to the dentist over it because I don't think it I don't see it as surgery um, eligible. I don't see it as, as a need, surgery as a need. So I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll pick away every time. Um, metal on teeth, is that safe or not? I think it depends on how much pressure you put on the teeth. Dentists use metal instruments to scrape away at teeth. You just don't want to scrape hard, just, you know, use your... You use your you you're doing it yourself, so just use your own discretion.